Nick, if you can, here with another ID question in topic 7.1. We're looking at uh, the properties of the spectrum of light. We're looking at absorption spectrum uh, in this case. Uh, we have a question about uh, the element helium. It was first identified from its absorption spectrum. Uh, we want to explain uh, what is meant by the term absorption spectrum. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about what happens when white light passes through something like a gas. So here are some gas molecules. And we're going to pass uh, the full spectrum of white light. So red, uh, Roy G. Div, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Uh, all of that we're going to send into this gas. And what we're going to find is that some of the color goes straight through. Uh, maybe the red goes straight through, too. This is not necessarily hydrogen gas we're talking about here. Um, any, some imaginary gas. Some of the colors go straight through. Uh, but other colors get absorbed and then re-radiated in a random direction as infrared radiation. Uh, as black body radiation. So some of the colors pass straight through, others do not. They get absorbed and re-radiated in random directions as a different color. And what's left is a spectrum of light that's uh, this range of colors where some are present but some are absent. Uh, so we see that uh, colors in this frequency range make it through, colors in this frequency range don't, and there's like narrow gaps where uh, the specific energy of that uh, photon is related to one of the uh, differences in energy of the electron shells of those electrons, so it's able to be absorbed and re-radiated. Uh, so then finally, what is meant by absorption? Um, the uh, absorption spectrum of a gas, I suppose it could be things other than a gas, but we typically talk about gases. The absorption spectrum of a gas uh, is the range of frequencies of white light that the gas does not uh, absorb uh, or uh, yeah, or absorb. Uh, in our answer, we see the absorption spectrum over here, so we'll label that. so that we might be able to get some credit for this diagram that we drew. Uh, they gave us space for a diagram, so we can be pretty sure that there's going to be marks in the mark scheme available for drawing a diagram. Um, but it's going to be harder for them to give us credit if we're not clear about what we intend for these different things in the diagram to be. So we might label this as white light. And this is our gas. So those are our gas molecules.